let's actually try and anti-derive this expression right here, x times e to the x. Okay, we have our, our setup here for the uh, idea of anti-deriving by parts. Okay, so what's happening here is we are matching this left side of the equation with what we're given. Okay, so we see over here that we have the anti-derivative symbol, and yep, we got our anti-derivative symbol. All right, and then we have u dv. So we have to match u dv up with x e to the x dx. All right, so the question is, well, what should u be? What should dv be? Okay, and overall, you know, the best advice to give is that u um, ultimately is, is going to be, the, its derivative is going to be part of this integral over here, this antiderivative over here. So we want u to be something that um, gets simpler as we derive, okay? So it, it should, when you're cycling u, we want something to, that'll get simpler as it's derived. Right. And as far as the dv is concerned, well, look at what our answer is going to have. It's going to have v twice. So dv is something that can be, it means something that should be able to be anti-derived. All right, so dv should be anti-derivable. I don't know if that's a word or not. Okay, uh, we should, you know, and let's we'll, we'll put it down anyways. Anti-derivable. Right. We're making up words here. Okay, you, you should be able to get the anti-derivative of whatever you choose for your dv. Okay, so ideally, it's something easy. Okay. Um, there are lots of things out there on the internet about mnemonics that will help you. Um, I will put that down if, if you're if you're looking at that. Um, but we'll, we'll, the, the mnemonic itself, again, um, is, is known as okay, that's a, is known as uh, Lipit. Okay, and the idea is that would help students determine what the best options for you are. Okay, so if you're trying to figure out what you is. Again, ultimately, you're trying to find something that gets simpler as it's derived, all right? So what gets simpler as it's derived? Well, logarithms get simpler as they're derived. Think about it. When you derive the natural log of x, you go from a logarithmic expression to uh, 1 over x, all right, to a rational expression. That's easier to work with. So the L stands for logarithmic expressions, and those would be your top choices for picking u. The I is for your inverse trigonometric expression, okay? Again, think about it. Think about in, in uh, arctan, okay? Arctan x's antiderivative is 1 over 1 plus x squared. That's a much nicer antiderivative. There is no inverse trig involved in your antiderivative. Uh, in, in, your, in your derivative, I should say. Um, next up is polynomials. Polynomials get easier as they are derived. Then exponential functions, they don't really get easier. They kind of stay the same. And then finally trig. If you think about trig, you go from the derivative of tangent is secant squared, so you're making things more complicated. So your trig expressions tend to be your last choice for your selection of u. So when you're picking u, that's a mnemonic that you can use if it helps out. But ultimately, you want to pick the u that's going to get easier or simpler as it's derived. So if we think about this, we've got x, and then we've got e to the x. Right? e to the x derives to itself, but x derives to 1. That's much easier for us. So we're going to make u equal to that x. All right, so we need u equal to x. And if I look over here, I need a du. All right, well, what's the derivative of u? I change the derivative of x. It's going to be 1 dx. Okay, hold that thought for a second. I also have to pick my dv because I have u and dv. So my dv is everything that was not part of u. u was x, so dv is e to the x dx. Right. So now I have to anti-derive my dv to get v, because ultimately v is located in two parts of my answer. Right. Well, what's the anti-derivative of e to the x dx? Yeah, it's just e to the x. We've got e to the x right there. So watch what our integration by parts does now. This is what we're starting with. Here's what it's equal to. It's equal to u times v. Well, we've got u and v right here. So this, let me switch over to the black ink. This expression right here is equal to u times v, x, e to the x, minus the antiderivative of v du. v is e to the x, du is dx. Okay, e to the x, dx right there. So what have I done? 
I've taken an antiderivative, which is difficult to solve, and I've engineered through the product rule this expression right here. Now look at my antiderivative that I still have to take. Much easier. One that we can do. We know what the antiderivative of e to the x dx is. So I take care of that antiderivative. So box that off. So I've got equals x e to the x minus, and then the antiderivative of e to the x is itself. All right, and what do I need when I take an antiderivative? I need my arbitrary constant, so my plus c. All right, there's my answer. That's the antiderivative of this expression. Okay. And again, we can always check our answer by deriving it. Right? So if we actually derive this, I'll go back to a different color now, right? x e to the x. When I derive that, what rule do I have to use? I'm going to use a product rule. Okay. So derive the first, derivative of x is 1, keep the second, so that's e to the x, plus, now I keep the first, and I derive the second, what's the derivative of e to the x? Yes, e to the x, right? Minus. Right, now I derive this term and the derivative of e to the x, once again, is e to the x. Right? And then the derivative of any constant, you know, zero. I can put that in because I want to use some red ink here. And what happens? Look at that, the e to the x is they eliminate each other, and I'm left with just x e to the x. It checks out. Right? So what we end up having is a very, or usually, a long anti uh, derivative, a long answer based off of an initially more simpler, uh, more, uh, more simple um, expression, okay? With parts, we also have to be ready for definite integrals. And there is the potential for more than one iteration. So in other words, we might have to do this expression by parts as well and over and over and over again. So we'll talk about that more uh, with future videos.